Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I think the consensus is out on the stuff I cut the other day and it's white oak. So we're gonna take up this red oak here and throw it on the splitter, split it into the trailer. I think there's 21 or 22 halves here. We'll see how long it takes. Uh, being that there's more time when I get home from work, I have some time to actually get out here in the wood yard and get some stuff done, which is awesome. So I probably have about 45 minutes, maybe an hour before the sun totally sets. So hopefully before then we have all these halves done. Today we're using the pizza wedge because I'm going to split this stuff for my selling in my, uh, in my stand. So a lot of it's going to make nice bundle wood and the bigger there's probably some knottier stuff in here. The not so nice stuff can go in the bins or the rack. So how I'm gonna approach it is take one or two slices off the edge. I'll either throw it round down or flat down after those two slices and see how it goes. And then we'll just fire from there. And uh, heck yeah, this is gonna be some nice wood, I believe. So we'll see how it goes. So, so stick with me and we'll get right to it. Sorry I have this stuff warmed up, so it should fire right up. Some fresh motor oil on the conveyor, on the chain, and this should fire right up since I have it warmed up. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah. Everything's all lubed up and ready to go. And it's been a while since I actually ran some nice wood. So this is gonna be a little change of pace here. So turn it on edge here, take a couple slabs off, and we'll just fire as we need. I guess I should turn the throttle up on uh, the splitter. It's actually looking pretty nice right there. That's going to be almost perfect to get nice splits out the back. We'll see how it goes. Looking good. Yeah, it's 
Not too shabby. Getting into that knot. This one looks heavy. This one I'm going to take a couple slabs off of. Uh, Probably each side, we'll see how it goes.
not too shabby. Camera's saying 31 minutes of run time. It wasn't quite 31 minutes. If I had to guess, it was probably more like 18 to 20. So I was moving the cameras around, resituating some stuff, but all the hats are gone. They're in the trailer. There's some slash. Don't mind the bigger stuff there. That was from the last time I split, but not too bad of a stack in the trailer. So the Grizzlies don't catch everything. You, know, you got some small stuff like this, but that's no big deal. When you're producing stuff like that, this is your pizza wedge. Now you can go thicker, but that's as wide as you're gonna get out of it. So you could make it as thick as you want. But these are gonna dry faster and look how they fit in the hand. Kids, the ladies can uh, handle these pieces, throw them in the campfire, no problem. Now this one came off the side. It's a little, a little big, no big deal. That'll be easy to split, no problem. Let me pull a bunch more out of here and uh, get it stacked up on the side here and show you what it actually looks like. The, the variety of size wood I'm getting. All right guys, so here's the basic sizes from large to small. There's that one. That's that, that'd be, it's red oak. That'd be easy to split one more time by hand. No big deal. Here's the next one. Not too bad size wise. All right, this stuff makes really nice bundle wood, bundle grade wood. Pizza wedge is really nice for that. Here's a smaller one, but you need all those different sizes in your bundles to make a nice tight bundle so you don't have saggy bags. Right, Dan? All right, guys, well, there's the Easton made 1222 with the pizza wedge with some nice straight grained red oak. A lot of people give the pizza wedge a bad name because of the slash, but for me, it's probably my most favorite wedge, especially for bundles and stand wood. Nice, smaller campfire wood that children and women can handle with ease. Tell you what, it's nice getting out here and working after work and having more than just 20 minutes to, uh, to get something done. It, uh, that winter time really drags me down because I get home and it's, it's pretty much dark within 20 minutes or dark as I'm getting home. So, but with this extra hour that we're getting, I hopefully they keep it this way and uh, just let it be the way it's gonna be. And I think it's gonna be a lot better and be able to do a lot more, you know what I mean? So next time we'll dive into this white oak with the pizza wedge and that might fill the trailer. Uh, we'll see how it goes but I don't have anything really cut up here anyway. So we'll get into this white oak, fill the trailer, and then we'll stack it, and we'll see just how much slash that I get out of basically a trailer load of, of wood, just from this machine, or just from the box wedge. Like I said, a lot of people give the box wedge a bad name because of the slash, but I wanna see somebody do that in 18 minutes. Make those nice small pieces with a four way or a six way in 18 minutes. It's not gonna happen. So the speed that this provides, the ease of it, of not having to really handle the wood once it's on the splitter. So the box wedge with the pullback arm takes a lot of the work out of handling the wood once it's on the splitter. And that is another benefit. You know what I mean? I picked this stuff up 
basically twice already, three times. And once it's on the splitter, I'm done basically hand it, handling it until I stack it. Anyway guys, that's all I have for today. So if you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, tell one of your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!